This is what everyone is speaking about right now. Hi guys, it's Brittany from Every Bit Helps. Welcome back. Today we have a really exciting thing to talk about. We are going to be talking about the Ledger stack. I was lucky enough to be invited with Every Bit Helps to attend the Ledger Open. Honestly, congratulations Ledger, you absolutely killed it. I had the best two days and I don't think I have ever learned more about hardware wallets in my life. <laughs> I still have the wristband on. <laughs> I literally just came back from the event. It finished around 6 p.m. and it was so much fun. They had everything there. They had demos, all of their Ledger collection. There was some crazy things that I saw. The speakers were all fantastic. The amount of stuff that I learned, it was honestly amazing. And it was one of like the most aesthetically pleasing conventions I think I've ever been to. So well done Ledger, you absolutely killed it. More importantly, everyone is talking about this. This is the new Ledger stack. Okay, so I wasn't completely honest. This isn't actually the Ledger stack. This is a magnet, which they were giving away at the Ledger event. But I thought it would be a pretty good demo to show in the video because it's exactly the same size, width, everything. The only thing that's a bit different is the color and obviously it's not real. But yeah, as you can see, it says December 2022. The original one doesn't actually have that, but the actual one is this size and similar to this weight as well. And if you have multiple ledger stacks, you can actually stack them. Not like that. Oh my God, why is it so hard? You can actually stack them like that. Like they do snap together. So they form like a little stack like this. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this at the end of the video because I wanna get onto the main part of the video, which is the vlog. Essentially, when I went to Ledger, I thought, why not vlog? I'd love to show you guys, take you guys along and show you what came up over the last few days. Also, I will make sure to leave the timestamps in this video so that you can skip along so that if you don't want to watch the vlog, then you can just have a look at the information bit. I learned a lot over the last two days because being in a room full of crypto people, you just learn things from all different corners of the blockchain, which is pretty fun and kind of scary, but pretty fun. <laughs> But yeah, I had the best time. I met some great people. I met the main artist for the Ledger Stacks called Jen Stark. She was awesome and really nice. And we had a little interview, which I'll be including in this video. If you do want to get your hands on one of these, wait till the end of the video because we're going to be telling you how to do that. Not a magnet, the real thing. I'm also going to tell you a little bit more about the product as well after the vlog, but... Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get on with the vlog because it was so much fun and I'm so happy I managed to take you guys along with me and meet some cool people and bring you along and just see all of the cool stuff that Ledger has to offer. Okay, so we're now at the metro stop of the event and I don't really know what to expect from today but it's very exciting. It's nice that Ledger's holding an event and I'm hoping to meet some cool people, some other people who have Ledger <laughs> and just learn a little bit more about what they're doing. So it's gonna be exciting. I'm hopefully gonna ask a few people a few questions and yeah, it's really noisy out here. So I'm gonna get inside because it's really cold. Everyone's laughing at me. <laughs> I can't get my wristband on. Wow, this is amazing. Personalize it on the side. Oh gosh, I'm breaking it. <laughs> nice one. Oh my god, I don't know. There's actually security everywhere. <laughs> Ooh. 
were you affected by the BlockFi Celsius um, STX crash? No, I wasn't because I, I don't. Um, I'm not a big uh, earn and you know guy, so I don't put my money uh, on those type of things, um, especially like centralized exchange. So no, I was I was not affected. Yeah. So you um, don't stake on any platforms or anything like that. Too? No, I don't. So you have a ledger. What kind of wallet? Do you use? I actually I have mostly hot wallets um, and uh, a ledger. Uh, that's actually right oh. here. Yeah. Oh, we got the bling. Oh, yep, we can yep. get a zoom in on that. Uh, Look at that. Yep. Oh my god. I'm not gonna open it. But that's very very cool. Which ledger is that one? That's a proof. Proofex ledger. Okay. Which is like a very exclusive club. <laughs> I didn't even know yeah. that was a thing. Yeah. I so no. Yeah. <laughs> one uh, one ledger and uh, and mostly hot wallets. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, so that was really fun. Um, that was day one of the Ledger event. I've just come out, um, interviewed a few people. There was a lot of like kind of talking, so I didn't have like too, too much time to interview anyone. Um, but yeah, really good experience. The new Ledger products are amazing. And yeah, really exciting. So that's day one of the Ledger event. We'll be back tomorrow. Okay, so we are heading day two of the ledger event. I've got my wristband on and it's gonna be exciting. Um, there's a few talks on today. I'm gonna meet some more people, try and ask them about their ledgers and uh, yeah, let's go round two. Like now I, I like my DMs are closed, like I, like I don't trust anyone. Like, yeah, even yeah. These these hackers are high IQ, I'd say. Like Very some, high yeah, IQ. some will infiltrate your moderator on Discord and become your friend and move you move in your house and like it's crazy. <laughs> anyway, I actually had someone impersonate me and steal thirty thousand dollars from a community. So when uh, so my project has been building up for about eleven months now, and during the summer, like well, during it was coming to the end of the bull run, and everyone thought that we were going to mint, but we weren't. Someone went onto a Discord pretending to be me and posted, it, posted a link and loads of people minted a fake NFT resulting in $30,000 worth of loss. That's actually another great lesson is mm -hmm. make, sure, make sure that the person that you're talking to is actually the person you're talking to. And even if it's your friend, a lot of times people will contact you on Telegram or another app pretending to be a person that you know and you're just too busy to verify. So if you have their phone number, call them and be like, hey, did you just message me about this? into a bit of a celebrity when it comes to the ledger stack. If you could introduce yourself, that would be amazing. My name is Jen Stark, and I'm the visual artist that created some of the NFTs and the artwork that you're seeing today and on the ledger. So the screensaver that you see, it's a screensaver, is created by Jen. So that's quite an infamous image, and it's on every single sheet, every single ledger. Um, so luckily, I bumped into her to ask her a few questions about security and were you at all influenced by the FTX Celsius? Everything crashing down, essentially. Yeah, um, luckily I wasn't. It was an insane debacle. Like, I, I feel so bad for the people that were invested in it. But luckily I I wasn't invested in it and I you know, wasn't too affected. So. Do you do any staking? I don't. I, I like to keep it liquid, so I haven't really staked. That's probably been a good thing. And finally, do you have a ledger? How do you store your crypto? What's your advice for people on that? Oh yeah, I have multiple ledgers. Um, it's the safest way to store your crypto. So um, yeah, I store most of my my NFT collection on there. I keep a little bit of ETH on, you know, MetaMask, but mostly it's on Ledger. I love them. Okay, so I have just left the event and that was so much fun. I can't believe I ran into the infamous Jen Stark and she was so lovely. You'll see in the video. 
that was amazing ledger you did an absolutely brilliant job well done um i'm heading off now um but yeah very excited for the new ledger stack to come out and yep yeah, i will now cut to when i'm in my bedroom vlogging so yeah bye guys bye Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. It was so much fun. I had the best time. Once again, thank you so much, Ledger, for having me as a guest. You absolutely outdid yourselves. Some of the main things which I thought was so interesting when I was there was the fact that the guy who helped design the iPod helped design the Ledger stack. I thought that was really cool. <laughs> I also found the fact that they have a Ledger dungeon. I think they call it. I, I'm gonna put it up here because I think I'm saying that wrong. Essentially what this is, is that they employ hackers to try and hack their ledgers like every day. I'm gonna briefly go over what the ledger stack essentially is because I feel it's so new. Not a lot of people know how ledger are not only just branching out further into the crypto world, but just regular day to day as well, which I think is really cool. Okay, so just a little bit of info on the ledger stack. The announcement was on December 6th, so that was yesterday. And the price in Europe is 279 euros, so like 280, and I think that runs pretty similar throughout all of their price ranges, no matter where you get it in the world. Personally, I feel this price point is quite expensive, but also I understand the value of it as well, but I think that'll be something to talk about in another video, and I would really like to know your opinions in the comments down below. So essentially it operates exactly the same as a ledger. It helps store all of your crypto in a hardware offline wallet. You can manage, buy, swap, and grow your digital assets through the Ledger Live app, which is pretty much what you can do on your ledger, but it's all through this device. This is Bluetooth focused and the Ledger Nano X has that feature as well. So it's nice to know that that has been like tried and tested because they kept emphasizing we have never been hacked we have never been hacked the touchscreen is really similar to a kindle so if you have a kindle it's the same screen so there's no glare or anything they said that they didn't want it to look like an iphone or like relate to anything similar maybe for legal reasons we don't know but they said that they wanted it to resemble a credit card shape because it's a wallet and it, i guess that does make sense right okay so essentially with a real ledger stack, the front is like the touch screen, which is looks like a Kindle, and then it wraps around the spine. So the way that they said that you can personalize each ledger stack, because they have photos like this where you have your name on, and I thought, oh wow, cool, they do engraving now. It's embarrassing, but essentially you can program like what name will come up because it's still screen on the spine. Like it's not like metal on the spine, like it's actual screen because it wraps around the back of the ledger, which is so cool. It's wireless charging. It's got a magnetic case, as I showed you guys before, with the very satisfying. <laughs> and they actually do that. Like, that is what they do in real life. I think these are such a cool demo. I really had to persuade the lady who was in charge of these. I said, hey, I work for an education channel. Can I please have two? She was so nice. She let me have two. I felt so greedy. Yeah, sorry if you didn't get your magnet because of me. Okay, so the way that this can communicate to Ledger Live is through Bluetooth. So it's compatible with your phone, so you can literally just click send. They did an example where they sent like $2 worth of Ethereum to someone and they did it on their stack and the stack wasn't plugged in and they still managed to do it. So you didn't have to like plug your Ledger in, say that it's your Ledger, send the money off, unplug, because that's what you have to do with Ledgers currently. So yeah, that was... Cool to see. I feel like for demonstration purposes, I need to show what a normal ledger looks like alongside of the ledger stack. So true to size, not a real ledger stack, disclaimer, it's a magnet. But this is the ledger S. These two, very different. As you can see, like width is like, I don't know if this is helpful. Like the size is definitely different. Like the model, everything to do with it is just, is just different, but I'm gonna do a more in-depth video on the ledger stack when we actually receive one so that we can like test, show you how it works and do some transfers on it. So this is a very like whistle-stop tour on the ledger stack because it is so new, but I'm just giving you all the information that I have. So 
yeah, we will definitely be updating this <laughs> as soon as we get our hands on a ledger stack, which they said would be the beginning of next year. So it's the same, you can hold your NFTs on this as well and you can set the screensaver on the stack to like anything that you want and a lot of people set it to their <laughs> NFTs, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna put up a table here that everything the ledger stack has, everything the Ledger Nano X has and everything the Ledger Nano S Plus has. So as you can see, the X and the S Plus don't have as many features as the Ledger Stacks. Okay, so that is all the information that I currently have on the Ledger Stacks. As soon as we get one, we will be doing a tutorial on it, as I said. Now, down to the juicy part. I know that a lot of you are gonna be wanting to get your hands on one of these, and so do we, and they're coming out at the beginning of next year. You can't, unfortunately, get one until the beginning of next year, as I said, but, and there is a but, you can pre-order now to make sure that you get yours as soon as they come out. If you wanna make sure that you head to the right place on the Ledger website, click the link down in our description box because it will take you to the pre-order page for the Ledger Stacks. I know I'm very excited, even though I feel the price point is a little bit high, I would still say that it is a great investment because as Ledger says, they've never been hacked. They're slowly but sh <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. It always helps us out so that we can continue bringing you guys free education on Every Bit Helps. If you enjoyed this video, we also do other stuff on our social channels, so Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and head to our website for more tips, tricks, and reviews. Bye.